2021 is a lot different for me now. Uh, being the elder statesman, you know, on the brink of 40 years old. I'm playing with guys who are fresh out of college now. It's, you know, I'm, I'm, me and IT, Isaiah Thomas was really kind of, you know, leading the way. Uh, and it's been fun, you know, because these guys are like sponges. They, they ask a lot of questions, they listen. And we got a great group who, who play hard and willing to come out there and put on the line. So uh, I think it's going to be fun, it's going to be interesting. And I'm looking forward to us getting out there competing. Coming in the NBA as a young man and then just growing into, you know, the man and the father I am today, um, I've seen so much. I've seen the lows being the last draft pick to the highs being, you know, top five MVP race, um, all-star games, and then to the lows again of getting hurt and kind of having to start back over um, and reinvent myself. And I'm fine with that, though, just because I've done it before. So I've seen the process of that. Um, I love the grind. I'm, like, I, like I keep saying, I'm, I'm finally 100% healthy, so I don't mind how long it takes to get back in the NBA. I mean, I know, you know, at some point it will happen. And I just believe this opportunity will be, you know, a step closer for me to, you know, get back on the NBA roster and show people that I can still play at a high level and I still got plenty of years to play. And then, you know, as a basketball player, it's just, it's everything to just represent your country. Like when they came calling, it was like, okay, if I'm on a team, obviously I can't do it. But if I'm not, I'm going to Puerto Rico and I'm going to have fun with it and I'm going to take advantage of the opportunity.